Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can get lots of unique familiars. Let me open up my familiar setup right now and I'll show you which one I mean. So these are all the unique familiars I have that I obtained quite easily. The Ascendions and the spiders that I showed you, all of these were obtained quite easily at unique. So let's go into auction house and I'll show you which ones to get. Ideally what you want is something that is massively farmable, so things like an Ascendion, things like a Forbearion Familiar, things like a uh, Embryon Familiar, and there are other types of Familiars too, but these tend to be pretty widely available because of people who are training there, and they're just able to loot a bunch of these. So what you want to do is even if you're training, it's even best because then it becomes free for you. Then you just pick up as you train and then you can just use those. So whatever familiars drop at the place that you're training, you can just use those. Or you can just buy for a very cheap price in Auction House. So what you want to do is after you're done training and everything, and let's say you got your little rare familiar, right? So what you want to do is you use the rare familiar. Don't use the common ones and how you can tell is the gemstone right here. If it's grayed out, it means it's common. So you don't want to use the common ones. You want to use the rare familiars, which is indicated by the blue gemstone. The epics are obviously indicated by a purple gemstone and then unique is a orange-ish gemstone. So what you want to do, again, use the rare familiar. And then what, what you do after you use the rare familiar is you want to fuse a lot of the same type under the fusion tab and in the fusion tab you just select the familiar that you want to use as your main familiar and then you select all of the fusion materials that you want to fuse onto the familiar and then once you finish fusing it as you can see it's 0 out of 100 which means it'll take 100 points worth of required material and then once you fuse it, the gauge is maxed. And then the next step is you want to level it up. So you cannot rank up the familiar to the next level until you level it up. And this applies to uh, from rare to epic, epic to unique. You have to level them up first. So the level that you want to get them to is level 5. Now you might be asking how do we level them up? Well, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is just equip it on, wear it, and then train or do dailies, uh, your 300 kill dailies, do your grand dice dailies, whatever dailies you do, and just let it absorb the essence from the monsters that you're killing essentially. And it'll keep leveling up until level 5. And then once you get to level 5, you can attempt to rank it up. However, keep in mind that it's not guaranteed that will rank up. It will either rank up or it'll either stay the same and when it stays the same you'll lose a portion of the materials that you fuse onto it if it fails to rank up so you will have to fuse more onto it but you don't have to re-level it again so it'll stay at level five thank god and you'll just try to attempt the rank up again and eventually once you do get to rank up what you want to do is basically repeat the process from epic to unique and again you just fuse this the monsters and obviously you have to fuse a bit more mobs, familiar cards, to uh, tear up from epic to unique as opposed to rare to epic. It's basically the same process as going from rare to epic. And another thing that I need to mention is that once you have the epic familiar, what you want to do is you want to reveal the potential to make sure it's not a really good potential. If it was a really good potential, you could even keep it actually. But the chances of that are quite slim. But if it is a good potential for the familiar line, you can keep it. So things like boss damage, IED, drop rate, those are pretty keepable. You don't want to rank those up to unique because at Epic, you do get somewhat decent lines. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I... Also want to let you guys know that I have a channel membership for those of you who want exclusive badges and emojis to use in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.